YouTube. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. If it feels like I'm talking about you, you need to check yourself because words only hurt whenever they are true. This is a 360 video, so if you're on your cell phone, use your finger, touch the screen, move the screen around so you can see what I see. You have a 360 angle. Or you could just move your phone around. It may get a little weird, but it's easier for you to use your finger and just move the screen around by tapping the screen. If you're on your desktop, use your mouse. Click onto the screen to move it around so you can see everything that I see in 360. Okay, right now, I am inside of a car wash because it is thunderstorming outside. And if you've been to my second channel, you know what car I'm in. I'm in the Charger. I got it out the shop a couple days ago. It has a new re rear end and a new differential on the back. So I'm sliding everywhere and I have to stay inside of here until the rain stops so I can drive the car home. So I thought while I'm here, I might as well do a reaction video in 360 view. I've never did a reaction video in 360 view, but we're going to do it today. And what we're going to be reacting to is Will Smith and Jada Pickett Smith with mainly Jada again saying that she did not even want to get married. Now, what do I want you guys to study from this situation with Will and Jada is that this is what it's like when you start to rush a relationship and you start to rush a marriage. All right. A lot of people like to rush the theme. I always call it the theme of marriage, the theme of actually being with someone. And whenever you're rushing it, one is not afraid to trap the other. Now, Will knew in this relationship that Jada never was really in love with him. So when it came down to actually getting her, maybe he got her knocked up to try to trap her into a marriage. Because even with her being pregnant, she still didn't want to be married. So as you watch this video, I want you guys to truly understand that the whole time that she did not want to get married, she was also pregnant during this time period, all right? So, before we get started, what I want you guys to do so you can watch the video, spin the camera around, use your finger and use your mouth, mouse, and get it right on me right now so you can watch the video. And we're gonna go to the video right now. Hopefully you got your phone turned around. I really didn't wanna get married, but. We only got married because Gammy was crying. <laughs> What the grandmother is saying, the grandmother is saying, yes, you didn't want to get married. Well, you wanted to get married. You just did not want a wedding, but she wanted them to actually have the wedding. Okay, what people need to understand, when it comes to marriages and it comes to relationship, both have to want the same thing. It's always one person in the relationship chasing the other and the other that's being chased is always a narcissist. It's always like that in a relationship, especially when you're dealing with someone that's been hurt. And I'm gonna say this again, Jada was hurt after Pac. She really wanted Pac. She was really in love with Pac. So once Pac, once she could not have Pac, she was still hurt inside. Until women get over pain in the inside, it's hard for them to give their love to somebody else. When it comes to Will Smith, he was so much in love with her that he wanted to do whatever it is that he had to do to keep her. Maybe he got her pregnant on purpose. You know how many guys do that? 
I know so many bummy dudes in the hood that have knocked up the light-skinned chicks, that have knocked up the baddies, knowing that these guys were not gonna have jobs and they were gonna be bums, but they just wanted a piece of a beautiful woman. You would notice that, especially in poverty neighborhoods, that the good-looking women in those neighborhoods, they never make it out. They sit inside the hood and become a baby mama to all the drug dealers and to all the bad guys that are out there floating around why because those guys are trying to trap those girls in you have men that do that and I think that's exactly what will did in the situation with Jada is that he tried to trap and keep her all right let's finish off the video time I watch Red Table Talk and when we when you go back and you watch Red Table Talk and you, and you and you look at Will what I find very interesting is how Jada the grandma and the daughter can always make Will look like he's the bad person at that time like and Will just sits up and goes along with it he's actually laughing off the disrespect like I tell you guys, a woman would never know that she's doing something wrong as long as there's somebody around to applaud her actions. A lot of you guys, when you're not around women, you have your masculinity. You know the knowledge of women. If you was to go hang out with men right now and just hang out with men, you would gain your masculinity back and you'll be able to see all the faults of a woman. You'll be able to see all the mistakes that you made. You'll be able to see her red flags from a view when you get around other men. It's when you guys get around women that you like and you have no other balance there. See, what happened with Will is he didn't have no other balance because when he got around Jada, he he got around her mom and then when he got comfortable around Jada and she got comfortable with her mom being in the situation he had two type of females that were trying to change his views of life while they battle amongst each other on what they wanted to do Jada's looking at her mom like I don't want to get married but then her mom's looking at her like maybe you should get married you should do this you should do that so he's being controlled by fem female energy because he's adjusting himself in order for the relationship to work this is why when you are watching red table talk right here even his daughter his daughter talks like she's just a friend and it's not her dad she laughs at his stupid mistakes too because she know deep down inside her mom genuinely just wanted tupac why you think she wrote that letter to Tupac saying, Tupac, can you come back so me and my mommy can be happy? Like, when do you get to the point where you as a daughter, you're writing letters to a man who's deceased, hoping that he comes back to make you happy and you never met him before? That's because when it came to Will, they never looked at him as being the superstar that we see him. We see Will as superstar. We see Will as a stand-up guy. We see Will as the man. We see Will as a good role model. But as a woman, she still needs alpha energy in order for her to have respect. Will Smith is worth 300 million cash in hand and billion as an empire. His empire is worth a billion, but cash in hand, he's like 400 million. All right, even with all of that power, that's only enough to entice her to stay around. In other words, it's like waving money like, hey, you can have everything in your dreams. You just have to deal with this. So being that Jada already know how guys are because she was one of the guys, especially hanging around Tupac, she's looking at it like, well, I might as well be with Will because at some point, most of these guys are just gonna be simps and wanna sleep with me anyways. I might as well 
I'll be with the guy who's going to have the best potential. So after a while, when there's no true love there and it starts to wear off, things start to get weird because now they have trauma bonded together. They've went through situations in a relationship where she's hurt him and then he's turned around and hurt her. And then when she got hurt, she got jealous. And then she says, all right, let's just have an open relationship. And Will's like, no, we were supposed to get over our situations. So now you're running around here and you're messing with our son's friends and you're dating this guy, August. And I think that Will looked at that and every day it was pain. But he knew that he had to do what he had to do to make her happy because before that, you have to realize is that he spent three years planning a birthday party for her just for her to turn around and say that birthday party was weak. And you could go to one of my previous videos that I did a couple of days ago where I reacted to that video. The moral of the story here, guys, is that no matter how much money you got, no matter how nice you are to a woman, she still wants a dominant male who doesn't care and who can hold his own. The guy that don't care what nobody think about them. The guy that's ready to lead at any given moment. The guy who's adventurous. The guy who has swag. They don't want the guy who's trying to be perfect and they've never wanted the guy who just wanted to be perfect, all right? Hopefully you guys are learning from Will Smith's situation. Will Smith's situation is an eye opener for everybody that thinks, oh, I gotta be rich. I gotta be famous to get a woman. No, all that does is just bargain love. All right, and that's all I gotta say about this situation. I'm gonna sit here for about five more minutes. Then I'm gonna have to try my way down the road. Hopefully you guys got the message behind the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.